this profession control and monopolize the medical theater, our health has gone to hell in a handbasket. Autism rising, Alzheimer's rising, blood pressure rising, obesity rising, life expectancy falling, the leading cause of bankruptcy, medical bills. This is not because of financial profiteering by pharmaceutical companies. It is not because of insurance fraud. It is not because of anything other than one thing that only myself and Dr. Wallach are talking about. The reason we have a health care crisis in this country, the reason we're dropping like flies is because MD directed medical treatments for chronic illness do not work. And the best thing that anybody in this listening audience can do, if you have a chronic health disease condition, if you have asthma, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, insomnia, heartburn, fire your MD now. Stop going to your MD. The only thing these people are good for is trauma, surgery, and a handful of infectious disease. I'm right there with you, brother. As bad as you think it is as far as government stuff going on in the background, it's a hundred times times worse with medical stuff going on right in front of our face and we don't even see it. Let's break down some of that history, how the Rockefellers openly took over medicine about 90 years ago. And then I want to look at uh, some of the most deadly things that they're putting in the food, obviously by design to degenerate us and then sell us treatments for the disease they've given us. We'll be right back. You know, we've seen in the news, if you've been paying attention, the Rangers broadcaster went into a fit of mindless gibbering. And this is happening more and more on television with people. It's happening in parliaments and congresses in the Western world. And every time it happens, you end up finding out they're on Prozac, Zoloft, drugs like this. Uh, the zombie face eater, uh, he was on uh, psychotropic drugs, we later learned. They, they blamed it on illegal drugs. And again, it's just the curse of this system. I've seen numbers of breast cancer up two, 3,000%. The U.S. leads it. And Doc, it's always, oh, we need to find the cure, not, hey, why is this exploding? I mean, because you were saying earlier, we're leading the pack and everything, everything's increasing. I disagree. Everything is exploding. I mean, almost everyone I know has cancer or, or, or knows someone that does. Young people, pediatric cancer up over 10,000%. I mean, we, we talk about this. What is going on, Dr. Glidden? The problem is with cancer and the problem is with chronic disease that the people that are in charge of our health care, the MDs, their philosophy of training, the MDs are not trained in medicine. MDs are trained in allopathic medicine. I'm not trained in medicine. I'm trained in naturopathic medicine. There's chiropractic medicine, homeopathic medicine. You know, there's a lot of different slices of the medical pie. The slice of the medical pie that the MDs are trained in is ve one very small section. And, you know, the, the, their view, their understanding of health and illness is seen through a lens. They're like colorblind art critics. MDs are like colorblind art critics. They can only see certain things and they are blind to a great deal of information that makes their therapeutics fail. But their profession is so full of hubris and so arrogant and has been in the driver's seat for so long that they think their you-know-what doesn't stink. And so instead of reinvestigating their perspective, instead of reinvestigating their stance, their understanding of the genesis of disease, when their treatments fail, and let me tell you something, their treatments are failing all over the planet. Instead of looking at themselves and you know taking a different tact, which a, a, a sane person would do, they blame the patient. Oh, it's not the doctor's fault. It's not the medical professions. It's not the MD's perspective. It's the patient's gene. It's got to be genetic. This is the whole, this is the greatest scapegoat that the MDs are using to cover up. Oh, yeah, I have a clip in Endgame of the head of the state psychiatric board. Uh, the, 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 Congre the, the state reps are saying, why are over two-thirds of the foster kids on psychotropics, an average of seven? Because there have been a big expose about them killing them with some of these drugs. And they said they have bad genes. They come from bad gene pools. They're bad people. I mean, that's a quote. Here's the Daily Mail, top doctor chilling claim. The National Health Service kills off 130,000 elderly patients every year. They won't give them treatments over there. Uh, it, now they're talking about government-run health care here. We see these top bioethicists who are eugenicists, Dr. Glidden, saying, let's kill old people. Let's kill kids up to age three, even if they're healthy. 
there's more than just arrogant MDs. That's the grassroots, as you say. What about the, the, uh, the overall eugenics angle? It's not just bad MDs that are causing pediatric cancers to go up 10,000%. Well, look, here's the deal. It, it, in, to a large extent, it is. And there's a point here that needs to be understood. The type of, of the, the aspect of medicine and health that MDs are trained in is one small aspect. So, for instance, let's say uh, you and I had scurvy right? Scurvy is caused by not enough vitamin C. That's what causes it. And scurvy is a nasty, debilitating, horrifying disease, and it'll kill you. It's caused by not enough vitamin C. If you have scurvy, you take vitamin C, it goes away. If you went to a doctor and you had scurvy and that doctor did not know anything about medical nutrition, had zero training, zero respect, zero experience with medical nutrition, they would not know that it was a vitamin C deficiency disease. So they would throw drug after designer drug and surgery at your condition. And that's what they do Some now. I was reading that a lot of people actually do have scurvy-like symptoms, and, it, and then they're just dead because the MD won't tell them. They're therapists. Well, they don't know. This is the problem. The MD doesn't know. They don't know. They don't no, they're only trained in drugs and surgery. Look, I'm trained in drugs and surgery. Drugs are like guns. Nothing wrong with a drug. It's how it's used. The way that drugs are used by the MDs in the United States, it's the leading cause of death. Let me say it again. The leading cause of death in the United States are therapeutics delivered by MDs. It's more than heart disease and more than cancer. And because we don't know there are science-based alternatives, we keep going back to these All right, let's talk about every time we get sick. Let's talk about those numbers because uh, even the EPA, uh, excuse me, FDA, has come out and admitted that one of the biggest causes of death, they say number three, is hospitals and, and, and prescribed drugs. And then I want to look at some of your research and Dr. Wallach's research on what people can do. We'll be right back with Dr. Glenn. Live uh, here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I did a lot of research into health because I dedicated myself to working 17, 18 hours a day from about 1996 until about three years ago. And before I was in great health, jogged six miles every other day, lifted weights almost every day, uh, looked like Bruce Lee or something, and I just totally quit it. Didn't exercise other than occasionally going hiking uh, for years, and I gained about 80 pounds. I've only lost about 42 of it or so. Uh, and for the last four or five years, I tried to exercise, tried to eat less, couldn't lose weight. And that's one reason I've got Dr. Peter Glidden here. Um, I began to do research and found the great longevity products that we promote at InfoWarsTeam.com. We have discounted uh, there with free shipping if you sign up for auto ship. And I got into it and lost, you know, like five pounds or so when I couldn't lose weight before. And it's not even advertised as weight loss beyond tangy tangerine, pollen burst, things like that. It's just that if you religiously take it, you will get the minerals and the vitamins you need because the soils have been debilitated. That's a simplified breakdown. I want to get Dr. Glidden's take here in a moment on that. And you will immediately, at least I have, everybody I know has more stamina uh, your brain works better. You're not as hungry. In fact, I've been even exercising less than I was when I, you know, before I got on it and have, have, have lost more weight than I was when I was exercising really, really hard. Um, but I need, I need to go ahead and apply all the exercise and then go ahead and lose the rest of the weight. But the point is, they don't even advertise Beyond Tangy Tangerine available, discounted uh, there at InfoWarsTeam.com or Pollen Burst and all that as a weight loss thing. It's just get the vitamins, the minerals, the nutrients you need. My skin, my fingernails, my hair, everything started growing faster. Just an amazing response. And that's just a couple of the products. There's hundreds of them. We've got them all listed uh, right there at InfoWarsTeam.com. And your purchase also supports the broadcast. There's a business opportunity if you want to become a distributor. We're actually looking for people that are, you know, uh, understand health and issues like that uh, who want to be uh, managers in the organization. We're growing. Find out more at InfoWarsTeam.com. But, but the main push is simply about people rediscovering health. And this is not being really taught by anybody else out there. They don't even advertise this, again, as weight loss type stuff. 
Uh, and, and that's what's so exciting about it. Now, Aaron Dykes totally follows the program. He takes like 10 different things. I only take three different things. The essential fatty acids, pollen burst, and the um, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And I'm starting to take a few of the other things. I've just never been somebody taking pills, somebody drinking, you know, vitamin drinks. Sometimes I catch myself for a day or two not doing it. And I'm like, wow, that's why I've been so hungry. I've got to drink my Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I just get so busy that, hey, bring some food in. I'll shovel it in my face during a break. But if you stay with the program, it's amazing responses. Aaron Dykes lost 92 pounds. He starved himself. He, he exercised every day and couldn't lose the weight. 92 pounds. We're going to do a whole video soon showing the before and after. But those of you that watch the show online at prisonplanet.tv, uh, you've seen the difference. Or folks out there on the radio, just Google Aaron Dykes and then look at... You know, videos he did a few years ago or a year ago versus now. In a year, 92 pounds, and it wasn't even hard because he religiously follows uh, the stuff that uh, has you know, been developed by Dr. Wallach and Glidden and, and people like Ben Fuchs. It, it, again, I've only partially followed it and had incredible results. And I'm going to go back to our, our guest here and get into the facts that are so important and also open the phones up if you have any quick questions for him at 800-259-9231. People that have Alzheimer's, you know, their skin's rotting off. Uh, they've got, you know, scurvy, basically. They're on statin drugs that attack the brain. I've had brain surgeons on breaking that down. They won't tell them it's vitamin and mineral deficiencies and autoimmune uh, problems and inflammation on the brain, according to the medical doctors I've had on. They just tell them, here, take these drugs and kill them, basically. The system at the top, the eugenicists know exactly what they're doing. Ted Anderson's dad. Went on it, memory came back, could go fishing. It was incredible. The doctor tested his blood and said, vitamin K's up. What's he on? He's on uh, this, this vitamin mix, a really powerful Beyond Tangy Tangerine and EFAs, essential fatty acids from, from uh, you know, flax and fish and things. And they said, nope, nope, can't have it. Boom, dad's gone. And I've been given permission by Ted to talk about that, even though it's very sad, uh, because the doctor is God. Uh, th th I mean, this is the real deal. And I'm not even saying it's a total silver bullet. But compared to what they're doing, compared to what they're selling uh, in the whole establishment medical system, this is the biggest revolution I know of. Not drinking fluoride water, trying to get healthy, not fighting with your family, getting involved locally, politically. But uh, you know, the big things we can really do individually is take action, is take action and get ourselves healthy one step at a time. Don't imagine overnight results, but just watch the cumulative results is nothing less than staggering. Infowarsteam.com, there's also a phone number there if you have any questions or want to become a distributor or just sign up for 10 bucks and get, you know, it's kind of like Costco or something, get the discount on all the products when you become a member or you can just buy the product straight up at Infowarsteam.com and your purchase makes what we do here possible as well. So I want to thank all of you for that support uh, as well. You can also call 877-551-1301 if you have any questions, 877-551-1301. Now, I'm ranting here with Dr. Peter Glidden joining us via video Skype for the radio audience who's uh, not watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. People always say, you're, you're people watching? Yeah, 95% of the audience is undoubtedly radio, but I'm always saying watching. I've got to make that point. Uh, explain you know, maybe the top 10 diseases out there and obesity and neurological disorders, all this bone disorders off the chart. What is happening in nutrition? Why, why, even if it's organic fruits and vegetables a lot of times, why is it so debilitated? What is the secret that uh, Dr. Wallach's discovered? Well, there are 91 essential nutrients that the human body needs, or 90, depending on who you talk to. Let's say 90 essential nutrients. And you cannot get all 90 nutrients from food. It's impossible. You can't do it. So it is only a matter of time, unless you are supplementing with nutritional supplements made from good absorbable recipes, it's only a matter of time until your body runs out of something and then something breaks. So you run out of vitamin C, you get scurvy. You run out of calcium, you get high blood pressure. You get arthritis, you get type 2 diabetes. The majority, over 95% of all chronic diseases are caused by nutrient deficiencies. That's what they're caused by. You don't get high blood pressure because you have a hydroclean